A low lunge is a really great passive stretch for our hip flexors, the muscles running through the front of our hip for the leg that's in back in our lunge. But if you're looking to do some strengthening to really work on your flexibility, turning this into an active drill can really help. A really nice variation of active lunge is doing some contract relax while we're in this low lunge position. And for this video, we're gonna talk about contract relax for our hip flexors. We're gonna alternate contract acting those muscles for about 10 seconds, holding them nice and strong while they're in this lengthened position, and then relaxing them for 10 to 20 seconds, seeing if we can see it sink a little deeper, and repeat. So to start, we wanna start in a nice, solid, proper low lunge. So for our low lunge, we've got our front knee stacked on top of our front ankle. Our torso is totally lifted, and our hip bones are pointing forwards. Particularly with the lunge, if you've got tighter hips, it's really common to be leaning forwards to make this easy and more comfortable. But when we lean forwards, this rotates our hips forwards and those muscles in the front of the hips get to stay in a shortened position. That's not giving them any stretch. Lifting our torso is gonna help rotate our hips to neutral. You can even tuck your tailbone towards the floor to make this a bit more intense through those front of those hips. You're gonna get a better stretch and those muscles are gonna be in a better position for our strengthening. So to start, we're in our low lunge. Maybe hands are on our thigh for balance. They can be on blocks. You can be like me, near a wall, and have a hand on the wall for balance. Sinking our hips as low as we can to start, so we're feeling the stretch through the front of that back leg hip without leaning forwards and arching our low back and cheating the stretch. We're gonna hang out in this position just for a couple of moments. And then when we're ready for our contract round, we're gonna contract the muscles through the front of our hip by trying to kick that back knee forward. So I want you to imagine you're kicking your back knee all the way forwards to the front of the mat while you're keeping that same hip position. So we're not gonna actually move the knee, it's gonna be stuck to the floor. My tailbone's gonna stay tucked, my hip bones are gonna stay pointing forwards. I'm just gonna push that back knee forwards. You should feel a little extra tension through the front of the hip, possibly also through your quads. One of our quad muscles does work as a hip flexor. You might also feel tension in the hamstrings, the underside of that front leg. Because Usually when we kick that back knee forwards, our front heel tries to pull back to help. That's okay. We're just gonna kick that back knee forwards. Hold that tension for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then you can relax that back leg. You might be able to sink a teeny bit lower. Again, make sure that chest is staying lifted and we're not starting to lean forwards and let those hip bones rotate towards the floor. Hip bones need to stay pointing forwards. That felt good. Nice and relaxed. You're welcome to repeat that another two or three times for a total of three to four reps. If you get a discomfort in your knee while doing this drill or low lunges in general, you can absolutely lift it off of the ground. We can tuck our toes, straighten that back leg so we're doing a standing lunge. Same uh, checkpoints for our proper form still matter. We still want both hip bones pointing forwards, chest nice and lifted, front knee stacked over that front ankle. And then from here, we can do the same contract, relax drill. This time, instead of thinking of pushing my knee forwards, I'm gonna try to kick my back foot forwards. You're gonna feel a lot of a squeeze through the quads and the front of your hips. Keep kicking, keep kicking for those 10 seconds, and then relax. See if those hips can sink a little deeper. If you wanna learn more stretches like this, you should totally check out the Flexipedia on my website. It's a free online library of stretches with detailed how-tos for both passive stretches and active stretches organized by muscle group. You can access the Flexipedia by going to dannywinksflexibility.com slash Flexipedia or simply click the link in this video description.